students uh, as you all know that we have done in last lecture uh, cell uh, cycle and cell division uh, meiosis 1 today we will be continuing with meiosis 2 so meiosis 2 is very simple process it's just like mitosis so let's study over meiosis So this is meiosis 2. It's going to form two haploid cells from two daughter cells. So it con con consists of four stages, prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2 and telophase 2. So in prophase 2, meiosis 2 is initiated immediately after cytokinesis usually before the chromosomes have fully elongated. In contrast to meiosis 1, meiosis 2 resembles a normal mitosis. The nuclear membrane disappears by the end of prophase 2. The chromosomes align become compact. Um, nuclear envelope breaks down and spindle apparatus starts uh, formation. Now in metaphase 2 again, you have to remember metaphase plate that the at this stage the chromosome aligned at the equator equator means at the center which is called equatorial plate from opposite poles of the spindle get attached to the kinetochores of sister chromatids in anaphase 2 it begins with the simultaneously splitting of centromere of each chromosome which was holding the sister chromatids together allowing them to move towards opposite poles of the cell so you have to remember that it at this stage chromosome uh, chromo sister chromatids get separate and these start moving towards the opposite poles the telophase 2 it is the uh, end of the meiosis in which the two groups of chromosomes once again get enclosed by a nuclear envelope. Cytokinesis follows resulting in the formation of tetrad of cells means that four haploid daughter cells are formed. This slide is for revision. It is showing prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2 and telophase 2. So this uh, diagram is for practice. You have to draw the diagram with different colors in your notebook and practice properly so that you may understand the concept of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Now you must remember that meiosis is the reductional division and in which the chromosome number gets half which is important for the mm, keeping the uh, fixed number of chromosomes in a species. If an egg is having 23 and a uh, sperm is having 23, then they both are formed together to form zygote which becomes fully organism, full organism having 46 chromosomes. So this will uh, help in keeping the uh, constant number of chromosomes per species. And next is source of genetic variation because crossing over brings together new gene recomp combinations on chromosomes. So in Pekite instead stage, we have studied crossing over occurs, crossing over oiki, the exchange of parts hoenge, so new recombinants banenge. This is the reason that the parents having um, three, four kids, children don't resemble each other. They are similar but not identical. So no person resembles any other person. This is the reason because of genetic uh, crossing over which occurs in Pekite. Now this is the major differences between mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis occurs in body cells whereas meiosis occurs in reproductive cells. So in mitosis, daughter cells are identical to parent cells and each other. But in meiosis, as I have told earlier, that they are genetically different because of crossing over. In mitosis, two daughter cells are found but in meiosis, four daughter cells are found. So uh, in mitosis, homologous chromosomes don't come together. Whereas in meiosis, homologous chromosomes come together. So these are the major differences you have to learn properly. 
So this is back exercise. I'll be discussing few questions. First is what is the average cell cycle span for a mammalian cell? It will be approximately 24 hours. Next is distinguish between cytokinesis and karyokinesis. Cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm and cell, and karyokinesis is the division of uh, nucleus. Next is describe the events taking place during interphase. I think everyone can do uh, G1 phase, S and G2. What is the G0 phase, uh, phase of cell cycle? So, Cusin phase means inactivation of the cell cycle due to non-availability of mitogens and energy-rich compounds. Cells in this poison stage remain metabolically active and act as a reserve cells or undergo growth and differentiation for specific function. So, the cells in Cusin center of root tip are in uh, G0 phase. So, why is mitosis called equational division? Well, I think everyone knows. And name the stage of cell cycle at which one of the following events occur. Chromosomes are moved to spindle equator. Everyone knows metaphase. Centromere splits and chromatids separate. Anaphase stage. Pairing between homologous chromosomes. Zygotin of prophase 1. Crossing over. You have to remember pecaitin stage. So all these stages are like this. Next question is. Describe the following. Synapses, bivalent, chiasmata. Joy diagram. So, synapses, it's pairing of homologous chromosomes that occur during zygotine of pro prophase 1. During synapses, the similar chromosomes of the two chromosomes come to be exactly opposite. Like bivalent, it is synapsed pair of homologous chromosomes. Next is chiasmata, it occurs in diplotin stage. There are points of attachment between homologous chromosomes during their separation in diplotin to metaphase 1. Stage of meiosis, chiasmata are initially formed in the regions of crossing over between non sister chromatids, but later on tetrad uh, tend to shift sideways. So, you have to draw the diagram. Rest, uh, uh, there are some questions that how does cytokinesis in plant cell differ from the animal cell? So, I have told you earlier that in uh, plants, um, cell, uh, cell division starts from the center and in the animals, it starts from the sideways. So, uh, rest of questions, I think you can do very well. And uh, there is question number... Uh, 16 question number uh, analyze the events during every stage of cell cycle and notice how the following two parameters change number of chromosome per cell amount of dna content per cell it's very easy you can do it very well can there be mitosis without dna replication in s phase so this is a uh, this is homework for you this back exercise is homework for you and you have to solve it properly we'll discuss the, all the questions in live